it's not just going to be a hardcore game. That's one of the things that I want to do is a lot of hardcore shit because let's face it, every hardcore fan wants to do hardcore shit in a hardcore game. But it's going to be when you strip down all that and get to the very basics everything's going to be down like just completely how it should be because I've, I've had many problems with WWE games I target a leg but it affects both legs so what I'm really doing is I'm just hitting a move and I'm just hitting a move what I want to do is when you're about to hit that move like the knee crusher or knee yeah knee crusher I think that's what it's called you can choose which knee you want and then when you do your submission move as the figure four leg lock you can choose which leg that's going to affect more so whichever one it's gonna affect that's what it's gonna affect um Another move that I would love to incorporate is Charlie Manson's spinning reverse, like, leg lock, I think it's called. I think that's what it's called. If you look up Charlie Manson in AAA, he, they should have it. You should be able to see what, what he does. I think that moves, when I first saw it, I thought that was amazing how he did it. I mean, now... I was like 10 and I'm like this is awesome now when I look look back at it I'm like I'm surprised I could find it because it was so long ago and when he hits it it's just it's awesome it's still awesome I, I mean the fact is I don't think he wrestles anymore but when you look at his number one like finishing moves that's one of them I just love that but again that targets a certain leg not one um, you hit that move and it affects both legs so at the same time like the angle lock well what does that target that targets the ankle so if we make it so you have you can target your knee the knees you can target the thigh, you can target the ankle, or anything like that. Or if you do a simple wrist lock, you're targeting that wrist, and then you can chain wrestle, because I would love to... I've seen matches with R RVD and um, Jerry Lynn, where they chain wrestle for... I mean, that's what builds up the match, and that's what... WWE doesn't really do I mean to get into a chain wrestling it's very random you can't just choose this is what I want to do I kind of like the the previous one where 26 2k16 for 360 where you could hit the analog stick and you go into a wrist lock you go into a waist lock something like that but the the big thing is like just incorporating that and then the biggest thing I do like WWE's way that they execute moves it's very simple it's it's very easy it's I mean you just press down X or, but at the same time it's a little too, it gets very repetitive. I've been playing games for a very long time, and my favorite, besides No Mercy, which for the time it was made, was one of a kind. I mean, you can't find a better game like that, and that's the sad part. Smackdown Here Comes the Pain comes in first first in my opinion because that's the first game I ever played 
sadly, I mean, if I played No Mercy, I, that would have probably been the first game on my list. But smack there and here comes the pain. Just the amount of moves that you could do at that time. And just the, the straight fun. I mean, you could go into a helicopter and jump off. I mean, who doesn't want to do that? Especially if you hit, because I usually miss, but... Those are some of the things that... I mean, I don't know if we'd have helicopters in this game, but if we were able to, why not? That's the thing, the back backstage brawl was my favorite. I think only Shut Your Mouth did it and just bring it might have I, I can't remember but I know shut your mouth gave us a back backstage brawl all the other backstage brawls that we have had have been focused on cutscenes like you either like take them and slam them into a car and then there's a cutscene to do something else and that's what I, I really didn't like I don't remember which game it was that incorporated the first Bear to Live match. It could have been Raw 2006 or two or just SmackDown versus Raw 2000. But again, the Bear to Live match was taken out. How many of us were pissed about that? From Every game that we have played, the Buried Alive match has been taken out since, I think, late 2000s. And I understand that, okay, well, we're WWE, and what we can do is we can take the game, we can take characters out, we can put new characters in, repackage it give it to the masses and they'll buy it and call it 2k whatever when when we had better graphics in TNA game which was in 2007 now WWE have you if you've seen Stone Cold Steve Austin he doesn't really look like it he looks like a decrepit old guy. And then with all the divas, their faces look like they need a facelift. They absolutely need a facelift. Um, I'm sorry, I went off track from my game to other games. Because I want the game that is for the fans, made by the fans... Hopefully if I can get sponsored or if any programmers, like I said, I just want to supervise. That, that's all I want to do. I want to be the tester. I want to supervise. I want to make sure that this game is the best that it could ever be. And I don't care about money. I I honestly don't because it's, it's a fan-made game. I know it's going to be hours on hours to code all this shit believe me I've tried I'm retarded with coding like I, I just can't do it probably because I'm dyslexic and words and numbers just start blending and but I want a game that I can feel proud to play when I play WWE I play it like for 2k16 on 360 I don't think it had a storyline 2k15 did I played that through I actually enjoyed the story I mean yeah you got to be stone cold you got to be him during his ECW years you, you got to but then 2K16, like for 360, I don't know how many else, how many other people had this glitch, but when you played universe mode, it would just freeze. Kind of pissed me off. I went through four or five games at GameStop, and then I just decided, well, 
every game's glitching. There's no point to go back to GameStop because it's a drive and don't feel like doing that. And now I have a GameStop like right around the corner, but it's still the fact that if every game that I get, and I, I checked, the, there's no scratches. It, the game malfunctioned well, when they were making it. They did not bother to fix it. They only fixed it for the PS4 if they fixed it because I didn't play it for that. After I bought it for 360 and it was pretty much unplayable, I said screw it and I just waited to get 2K17 on PS4. So again, I'm playing 2K17 and I'm bored. And that's, that's the big problem. I'm just getting really bored with the same repetitive crap that they keep shoveling off to us. And this video is going to end. And I hope if anybody likes to listen to me rant and talk about crap, please stay tuned for the next one. Because it's going to take like 13 minutes for this to upload and... I'll be doing a new one. Alright, bye.